Hello again and welcome to Adams Cable High School Basketball. And today from the Pete Taronis Gym and the Muskoski Egnatovich Court, we feature Lackawanna League Division III Basketball as the Chiefs of Lakeland take on the Carbondale Area Chargers. All brought to you tonight by Adams Cable Service, by the Comfort Doctors, T.E. Spall & Son, NJS Systems and Controls, Route 6 Mayfield, by Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street. Jerry's Tire and Auto Service. By Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center. McGovern Insurance Agency. By the White's Crossing Sports Shop. And your starting lineups presented today by the Roselle Department Store. Alongside Glenn Muskoski, Chris Nanfelt of Adams Cable handling our live telecast, and Claire Seymour operating camera tonight. I'm Steve Young. Welcome aboard as the Chargers and the Chiefs will battle here for the third time this season. Carbondale area took uh, the Toronis tournament game 57 to 48 while in the what we would call Glenn the first half back yep. in the day yep it was Lakeland knocking off Carbondale area 50 to 48 so here tonight the Chargers overall at 11 and 6 a division record of 3 and 5 take on Lakeland 7 and 10 2 and 5 in division play well Steve there are two teams that are battling are basically uh, about even and, and on defense and offense they're both averaging somewhere in the 50s, and they're giving up a little bit more than that. So, but what what I think the key to the game today is for Carbondale, they have to play good defense and stop the outside shooting of Lakeland because they've been knocking down some threes in some of their games. They're not scoring a lot of points. They have they have about four or five guys that are averaging eight or eight or above, right? And for Lakeland, they have to stop Donato and Casey. Now they have to stop Donato. On, the, on his offense, for his offense, and his offensive rebounding, too. So they have to stop that. And, what, and so if Casey starts to penetrate on him, that could be a, they could be in trouble. Well, Carbondale area got off to a great start in the preseason, winning their first seven games. They went on a two-game losing streak against Valley View in the Toronto's championship. They lost to Riverside in the opening game of the regular season. Then... Uh, they won two in the middle of uh, their schedule, knocking off uh, Old Forge and Lackawanna Trail. But coming into this ball game, they have lost their last two ball games against Riverside, 67 to 37, and Mid Valley recently, 69 to 58. So for Lakeland, they will come into today's ball game uh, with a win over Hanover, 64 to 40. And uh, they had a tough game, Glenn, against Dunmore in overtime. They lost that one by nine points, 69 to 60. So interesting matchup. They're pretty evenly matched, these two teams. And, uh, you know, you brought up a good point that uh, Lakeland can shoot the basketball. They have players pretty balanced scoring in their starting yes. five as they have David Nanowitz, Vitsikovic, Hunt, Kuchmanich, Billy Hazelton, Rosencrantz. So they could shoot from the outside, they're and if they're on, they, could be, they yeah. could be trouble. And uh, another thing, Steve, when Carbonell gets beat, it's usually because of silly fouls. They get in foul trouble. The last uh, game we had here, may, uh, maybe it wasn't the last game here, but uh, nevertheless, we had one here where uh, Donato got two fouls in the first quarter. He's done for almost a half. So then you, and you, you can't take him out because he's their go-to man. So they've got to be careful. They've got to come out, play strong, but play smart on defense. We are going to take a break, and when we come back, more pregame highlights on today's Lackawanna League Division III basketball matchup between the Chiefs and the Chargers on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Today, we customize everything. Yeah. So why not customize your video choices with Echo Stream, the full featured video service powered by Adams Broadband. Just install the Echo Stream app on your compatible streaming devices. Then watch with features like look back and restart, plus cloud DVR to record all of your favorite programs. Powered by fast, reliable Adams Broadband and smart Wi-Fi. Customize your video. Call or visit adamscable.com to sign up. You deserve expert heating, cooling, and plumbing service. So, just call Spall. T.E. Spall & Son has been serving Northeastern Pennsylvania with expert customer service for 38 years in all phases of residential and commercial heating, cooling, and plumbing. So, just call Spall for the expert service you deserve. Visit them at callspall.com for 
service, remember, just call SPA. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team in NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS Route 6 Mayfield, online at NJSCO.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. Welcome back to Carbondale. It's time for basketball, Lackawanna League Division 3 action. The local rivalry, Carbondale Area Chargers and the Chiefs of Lakeland. Boy, Glenn, you talk about the great games Carbondale and Lakeland has had over the years, dating all the way back to uh, the 70s and the 60s. A lot of great games. You're right, you're right, Steve. They're, I mean, this has been a rivalry in all sports. Right. Baseball, basketball, girls basketball. Uh, and, and, and it's good. It's good for the area. It draws the crowds. It's, it's, a, it's it, as long as the weather's good and, and uh, you don't have to make that trek sometimes up to Lakeland in a snowstorm. Everything is, everything is good. <laughs> yeah. And it's not that far, but it's a, what a change in, in, uh, in climate. It's just a different mm -hmm. world in, in, when you get to Lakeland mm -hmm. for uh, basketball or football. That wind blows up there yep. from Binghamton, I swear. Yes. Well, Carbondale area averaging 52 points a ball game, giving up 49. Lakeland putting up 53 while allowing 51. So, stage is set for tonight's ball game. Of course, Carbondale area is led by Tyler Donato, who is averaging 15 points a ball game. Preston Casey is averaging about 14. And for Lakeland, as we mentioned, Glenn, balanced scoring. Billy Hazelton puts up about 12. Rosencrantz is around 11. And Vitsikovic, Hunt, and Nanowitz in the eight and nine range. So yeah. it's going to be a good matchup between the Chiefs and the Chargers. By the way, the junior varsity contest went to Lakeland as they got out to an early lead and they won that contest 54 to 31. We are going to step aside for one more break and when we return, we will have your starting lineups for today's game in the Lackawanna League Division Three matchup between Carbondale area and Lakeland when we return. Providing the ultimate in professional service is a tradition. At Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, Carbondale. For more than 50 years, families in Carbondale and its surrounding area have used our two Hospital Street and 74 North Main Street locations for a traditional service, cremation or memorial services, or a service of personal preference. Contact Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated to handle every detail. When it comes to keeping your vehicle maintained and problem free, Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale has you covered. Call Jerry's for brake service, oil changes, state inspections, quality tires, wheel alignment and rotation to enhance your vehicle's performance. I'm Jerry Jablonowski. Call 282 Tire for dependable automotive service in name brand tires at Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. Welcome back to Carbondale and the Pete Taronis Gym, Carbondale area and Lakeland coming up. And now your starting lineups for today's game brought to you by Roselle Department Store in Carbondale. At Roselle, you'll find all of your school clothing needs, including spirit wear for Carbondale area, Lakeland and Valley View, along with a great selection of apparel for the entire family. Are you attending a formal affair or a special event? Let the experience of Sam Kalura work for you with a perfectly tailored tuxedo by Sarno & Son. Roselle is headquarters for professional laundry and dry cleaning services. Sam and the great staff at Roselle Department Store in Carbondale are proud to present your starting lineups for today's Lackawanna League Division III basketball matchup between the Carbondale Area Chargers and the Lakeland Chiefs here at the Pete Taronis Gym and the Muskoski Agnatovich Court. Now we'll turn things over to Carm Perry with a look at your starting lineups for today's game. Good evening, ladies and 
Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Glenn Moskowski, Marianne Egnatovich Court at the Peter Taronis Memorial Gymnasium for tonight's Charger Basketball game. This evening, we would also like to give a special welcome to our youth basketball program, led right here tonight by Principal Ben Duffy, as well as their coaches. Please welcome our grades 1 through 6 and a mural, boys and girls basketball players. As always, Carmen Larry would like to remind you that this is a smoke-free campus. Please, no smoking on campus. We would also like to remind you that profanity, degrading remarks, and intimidating actions directed at officials, coaches, or competitors will not be tolerated and are grounds for removal from Carbondale area. Please do not bring in the gymnasium any type of noisemakers. Spectators are not allowed to enter the competition area during warm-ups or while the contest is being conducted. And please do not bring outside food or drinks into the gymnasium. Garbage can be disposed of in the garbage cans at the bottom of the bleachers. Thank you for your cooperation in the promotion of good sportsmanship at tonight's event. And now, for tonight's starter, first for the visiting Lakeland Chiefs, a sophomore number three, David Manowitz. A junior number 14, Nate Hunt. A junior number 15, Noah Hoochmanich. A senior, number 23, Lily Hazelton. And a freshman, number 55, Chase Rosencrantz. They finished coached by Trevor Tellup, assisted by Tim Tulin, Ted Tellup, and Caleb Hill. And now, please welcome your Carbondale Area Chargers. A junior, number 12, Jake Rossler. Tonight's officials are Jack Daphne, Stacey Williams, and Colin Hay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that at this time, you please rise if you are able and remove your hats for our national anthem, performed tonight by junior cheerleader Ava Perry. Time for basketball here in Carbondale, Lakeland and Carbondale area here on Adams Cable. Great to have you on board tonight. After tonight, Carbondale area will be home with Old Forge. They go on the road at trail Monday, 
February 12th. They will take on Holy Cross. That is a game we will have for you here on Adams Cable. And on Wednesday, Valentine's Day, the 14th, they will be on the road at Dunmore. Remaining games for Lakeland, Holy Cross at Old Forge, Mid Valley, and at Riverside. Ooh, that's a tough finish. That is. Wow. David Nanowitz, six foot three, sophomore at the center court circle, along with Tyler Donato at six foot three, and we are ready to rock and roll. As soon as they get the uh, youngsters <laughs> seated in the bleachers, that's that's I'm sure they're all excited. Yeah, that they're, is. Uh, it's a great. That's, that's a great thing. Really good to see. Here comes here comes the AD now. He's taking over down there. He's he'll be ready. And this tip will be controlled by Lakeland and Chase Rosencrantz. And we are underway here in the Pioneer City. Coach Manich will set things up for Lakeland. And they oh, call the ball inside immediately to Hunt. But you got Lake, uh, Carbondale in a man-to-man. -man, a little pressure over, uh, a little bit of a pressure. No good. Don't stick your hands in there. Don't commit some silly fouls on this. Lakeland's got to move the ball a bit better. There's a good strong Rosenkrantz move. tried to hook it inside to Menowitz, and the pass was, was too hot to handle, and Lakeland turns it over. Just a little bit. First turnover of the ball game as Carbondale area with Preston Casey averaging almost 14 points a ball game, running the Charger offense. And an outside jump shot doesn't fall there for Rossler, and it's rebounded by Menowitz. Here come the Chiefs with the basketball with just about one minute gone by here in the first. Billy Hazelton, 5'10", senior guard with the right-hand dribble. And Hazelton will give it up, kick it back outside. Hunt will let it fly from downtown. It's off the mark. Casey has the rebound for Carbondale. Bennett with an open look. Can't convert on the jump shot. Donato with the rebound. Oh, put it up. They'll kick it back outside, and this time it doesn't fall for Carbondale area as Rossler had the outside jump shot and a foul. Well, uh, there's there's foul, the quick foul. That's what I was told. <laughs> Correction, the foul is on Carbondale area number 40, Tyler Donato, his first. No, no good. So a foul away from the basket. Not what you want if you're Carbondale head coach Tom Morrow. And Billy Hazelton, along with Kutsmanic, will run the offense. Here's Rosencrantz off the turnaround shot, and it's a 2-0 Lakeland advantage. Carbondale area with Daryl Bennett, 5'10", sophomore point guard, matched up there with Cooch Manich. As Bennett will look to drive, cut off along the baseline and lost the basketball. That was great defense by the Chiefs. Uh, get some motion, get some movement. One guy dribbling, four guys standing. And with just about two minutes gone by, and Lakeland leading 2-0. They will run their half-court offense as Rosencrantz was posting up, and a foul called on the interior. Might be on Rossler. Let's wait for the official word. There's a mismatch between Rosencrantz and Rossler, and, and they're going right to it. And they get the ball into Rosencrantz, and he had his pocket pick by Bennett. Bennett out beyond the arc. Kicks it outside to DeBerry, and he will line up a three, and it rolls off the iron. Cooch Manich collects the carom. In transition, it's Lakeland with the basketball up to nothing. They get the ball inside to Hunt. Turnaround shot, rolls off the iron, rebound, Carbondale area, and Daryl Bennett. Bennett with the left hand dribble will give it up to Nato from the corner. Air ball off the fingertips of Rosencrantz. So Carbondale will inbound the basketball with 5.26 to play here in first quarter action. Bennett looking. He has to get it in quickly. And they will run their half court offense as Casey from the outside knocks down a three. And the Chargers have a one point advantage. That's good ball movement. Lakeland went into the zone out of the, out of the inbounds and quick movement and now Bennett cut down mm. on the play. 
not a turnover and a foul after it. Double, no good. So Cooch Monich called for the personal foul. And Carbondale up by one will put the ball in play. And Casey matched up with Hunt defensively will set it up. And Rossler lets it fly from downtown and it's a three ball. And Carbondale is out to a six to two advantage. I, I think Lakeland was better off if they, when they were playing man to man. They just went into his zone twice there. Rosencrantz. Yeah, defended by Bennett, Rosencrantz 15 foot jumper, rolls off the iron, balls tipped around. Lakeland will have the possession. Well, anytime you get Carbondale and Lakeland, you have a very spirited crowd. <laughs> yeah, they, and they probably everybody knows everyone also. Right. As they go with the long inbound pass, and Rosencrantz has it. And a good hustle by Rossler. Away there by Rossler. Great hustle. Came out of almost picked the ball off on the, on the inbounds pass, and the hustle that almost picked it off again. Good, good, good hustle. It is Nathan Hunt, the six foot junior, along the baseline to inbound the basketball. And Vitsikovic dishes off. Four and a half to play here in the first quarter, and the Chargers lead it six to two. Ball knocked away, and that will force Carbondale to go with the entry pass. And they get the long pass into Rosencrantz. Rosencrantz will survey the Charger defense. Hunt gives it up. And on the drive to the basket, a shot is good by Billy Hazelton. As Lakeland answers with a field goal. Now it's Carbondale area with DeBerry on a drive to the basket with a right hand. Oh, nice move. The glass. DeBerry used the, used the basket as a protection. Nice move. Strong. Chargers with a four-point lead with under four to play here in the first quarter. Donato tipped the ball away. Some good defense as he was matched up with Manowitz. Rosencrantz on the inbound. And Vitsikovic with Casey defending. Vitsikovic drives, cut off by Casey, and they'll have the ball knocked away once again. So Carbondale defensively pretty fired up here in the first quarter. That's five turnovers already for Lakeland. As Vitsikovic oh. gets the ball in, in and it's taken away oh. by Rossler. That wasn't a turnover. Now Bennett thought about it, gave it to Donato, couldn't finish under the glass. Billy Hazelton now sets, fires, here it comes. Nowhere to go as it goes out of bounds and Carbondale will bring the ball the length of the court. Preston Casey will set things up for Carbondale area. As Bennett pounds the ball into Donato, defended by Nanowitz. Jumper by Casey, and he's got it. Carbondale area out to a 10-4 lead. What I think I like about Casey, he's smooth. He doesn't panic on his shot. Takes his time, gets a nice, nice shot, follow through. Rosencrantz with a long three, oh, it's a banker. Did he call that? 10-7 <laughs> as the Chiefs answer with the three ball. Bennett sets, no, yes, now he'll shoot and the rebound will go to Rosencrantz. And Lakeland with a chance to tie right here. And Manowitz from the outside drops a three ball on the Chargers. And we're deadlocked at 10. See those last two times down the court, Lake uh, Carbondale got very lax on defense. Casey down the lane with a runner. No, Donato put back too short and the foul inside. He just doesn't go up strong enough. He's just got to go up a little bit stronger. Make sure you make that shot. Don't worry about the foul. The foul will come. Get the two, then make the foul. First don't, don't look to get fouled first. First personal foul on David Nanowitz. Tyler Donato, a 71% free throw shooter, rattles it in to give the Chargers a one point lead. As Nathan Hunt checks out of the 
Lakeland lineup. Marshall Popovich checks in. Donato has converted on 51 of 71 free throw attempts. And hits the free throw, and it's 12 to 10, Carbondale area. It's a good move. Get him out of there for a little bit. Now you got to play some, some tough defense now. Well, this is where we'll see if Lakeland can take advantage of Donato getting a breather as Vitsakovic will give it up. And on the drive to the basket and scoring was Billy Hazelton. And we're tied at 12. Daryl Bennett averaging 10 points a ball game. Sets it up for the Chargers as Casey will work the basketball with the left hand and had his pocket pick taken away there by Popovich. Billy Hazelton wants to go right to the basket. Up and off the glass, didn't get the roll. Ball, ball's tipped around. Rosencrantz has it. Rosencrantz kicks it near side. Hazelton with an open look, and he's got a three. And Lakeland leads 15 to 12. Well, kind of what we expected, yeah. Glenn, yep, between exactly. the Chargers and the Chiefs, as Bennett will go with an outside jumper that doesn't fall. Rosencrantz with the basketball. Coast to coast, almost a little bit out of control. Now they'll slow things down as Hazelton will call Manowitz out to set up a screen. And they can shoot. And Hazelton with a long bomb that's off the mark. And Lakeland will come up with the rebound. No, it's tipped away and taken away by the Chargers as Rossler comes up with it. And for Carbondale now, Daryl Bennett. Along with Casey running the offense. Rossler inside to DeBarry. DeBarry sets, fires off the glass, and he's got a field goal. Carbondale within one, 15 14. Final 29 seconds of first quarter action here in Carbondale. Great to have you with us tonight here on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Rosencrantz with an open look from the outside and drops a three ball on the Chargers. And it's 18-14. We'll see if Carbondale can get a shot off with nine seconds remaining here in the first. KC out in three-point land. Four on the clock from the corner. This shot won't fall by Jake Rossler, and that will bring an end to the first quarter of play here in Carbondale with Lakeland leading Carbondale area by the score of 18 to 14 as we go to a break. Collision repair? Rely on Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center to restore your vehicle to its original condition. Beston's is a full service, state of the art collision repair center where customer satisfaction is the number one priority. Their motto at Beston's every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. Beston's Collision Center in Carbondale, the trusted name in collision repair in northeastern Pennsylvania. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. Welcome back to Carbondale second quarter action just getting underway with the Chiefs leading the Chargers 18 to 14. Carbondale area with the basketball as Preston Casey and Malachi DeBarry will set things up. Bennett down the lane right hand didn't get it to fall offensive foul. And Lakeland will inbound the basketball. They'll face a little pressure now applied by Carbondale as Rosencrantz matched up there with Rossler will work it across midcourt. Well, uh, you see, Steve, uh, we said Lakeland could shoot. Well, 
Carbondale got lax a little bit on, the, on defense, and they made three, four threes in that first quarter. And now Lakeland in its half-court offense. With Popovich dishing off, and the ball knocked away. Bennett thought it was off of Lakeland. So did I. And Billy Hazelton. So did I. <laughs> Yeah. Billy Hazelton will. I think the referee was blocked out because I, I, it was it was tipped by the Lakeland player. And Hazelton turned it over. Carbondale area will inbound the basketball with just about one minute gone by here in the second quarter. As Preston Casey, along with Jake Rossler. Look inside and boy, lucky they didn't turn it over yeah. there, Glenn, as Bennett will get it to Casey and off the turnaround shot he misfires on the outside jumper. Now Nathan Hunt, the six foot junior, gives it to Rosencrantz. He will go with an outside jumper that doesn't drop. Now the officials will get together. They're gonna give this to Lakeland. I think that was tipped. Yep. Good call by the officials. Yeah, you want to get it right. And Lakeland will inbound the basketball. Hunt looking to trigger the ball in play. That's got, that's yeah. got to be five. Yeah, they couldn't get the ball in play. Good defense by Carpenter. That's a big turnover for the Chiefs. And here come the Chargers. Got to look inside. They got to get get the ball to Donato inside. He's got to post up on a block. Rossler had the ball taken away, and here comes Lakeland. Billy Hazelton crossover dribble out beyond the arc. Hazelton matched up there with Daryl Bennett from the outside. The jumper is good by Lakeland. Talon Vitsakovich with the long outside shot, and the Chiefs now lead 21 to 14. Casey from the outside, short on the jumper, and in transition, the ball is taken away. Casey steals it, gets it to Rossler for two. So Carbondale answers right back, and they now trail 21 to 16. Oh, Vitsakovich couldn't handle the basketball right at midcourt and lost it. Shane Herbert is in the ball game for the Chargers. As Carbondale area now will run its half court offense as Casey will survey the Charger defense along with Bennett. Casey dishing off to Herbert and in the lane Casey drops it in. Three point ball game. Now the Chiefs work the ball inside to Nanowitz to kick it back out. Open look for Popovich. And he scores, and it's 24-18. Well, they better get out and play these guys, or this game is going to be over in a hurry. And great job defensively there by Nathan Hunt to knock the ball out of bounds. Now Carbondale area. With Casey with the left hand dribble. Casey works it out to Donato from downtown, way off the mark. Battle for the ball, and Chiefs have it. And a timeout is called by Lakeland with 5.07 remaining. And we are going to keep it right here. And Glenn, did you notice how great? Downtown Carbondale looked with the new Christmas decorations yes. this oh, yeah. year. It looked really great. Well, there is a benefit for the Carbondale Christmas Light Committee, and that is going to happen on Sunday, March 10th, and it's happening at the Hotel Anthracite, Main Street in Carbondale. Now the doors will open at 12 a.m., and the bingo will begin at 1 p.m. So tickets are going fast. Get yours now. You could uh, purchase tickets at the Carbondale Library, Adams Cable Service, the YMCA, Carbondale City Hall. So big benefit going on. Sunday, March 10th, it's a bingo, and it's happening at the Hotel Anthracite, Main Street in Carbondale. Check it out and uh, support the uh, 
Christmas light fun, and you know they're getting they're getting nicer and they nicer. Are, they're they're adding more and more every each. single year. Yep. They get more and more great decorations, and town looks so fantastic this year. So stop by and help out and make the town look great for the upcoming Christmas season next year. Lakeland with the basketball up 24 to 18 as David Nanowitz will set it up. Hazelton right hand dribble forced to kick it back outside. Good defense by Carbonell. Lakeland's got to move the ball. Keep moving it. There's a mismatch right there. Yeah, they got the ball into Vitsakovic and a quick foul by Carbondale. Number five, Preston Casey, his first team second. So it's the second team foul. And that will put Lakeland along the baseline as Hunt will inbound see, the basketball. This is what I don't like. You see those kids walking across underneath there right. while the game is going on? Something's got to be done. Yeah, you I've, I've said it since I was the AD here. Somebody's going to get hurt big time here. Rosencrantz strong to the basket with a left hand. Couldn't finish. Ball goes out of bounds. Carbondale area will have the possession. Yeah, now they're coming back. See, yeah. Glenn, what you need is somebody on each side. Exactly. And and watch the game and don't let anybody walk mm -hmm. across there when the action is on the left side mm -hmm. of the court. Bennett will look into DeBerry as he sets and fires. Balls off the back iron. Herbert with the follow-up. No. Carbondale area gets it back. Herbert in a lot of traffic. Nowhere to go with it. Looking for Donato and a foul on the interior. Carbondale area will put the ball in play down 24 to 18 as Daryl Bennett will look to inbound. Oh, he bounced it off a of Lake. Oh, player. great. What a great job. And he scores and a great, ball. great play. Wow. Something you don't see too often. But you see, I've seen it. I've seen it in the past. I think I had a, a, a player do that once and I went way back when I was coaching. But that is a great play. You get, that's why you have to be open a little bit. You can't have your right. back completely turned. So the Chargers narrow the deficit to four points, and Daryl Bennett is on the free throw line for Carbondale area, a 57% free throw shooter. And the southpaw is a little bit too strong on the free throw, and Lakeland has the basketball. Here they come as Billy Hazelton had it knocked away. Hunt will take control, crossover dribble, and a whistle. Bennett cannot believe it. So Bennett has two personal fouls as Hunt will put the ball in play. They find Rosencrantz, defended by Casey. From the corner, an open look from the outside by Vitsikovic is good, and it's 27 to 20. No, they will, they are not learning. They've got to play these guys. They can shoot. And Lakeland, on the other hand, is playing great defense against Donato. They're not letting him get the ball at all inside. But he's not, but he's not really moving to get it, Steve. He really isn't. He's just kind of lollygagging around there. Herbert with an open look, and it's a little bit too strong, and the rebound goes to Marshall Popovich. Lakeland up by seven with a chance to increase its lead. As Hunt will work it out to Rosencrantz, defended by Herbert. Great screen there by Popovich. Mm -hmm. And they get the ball inside to Hazelton. The reverse layup, no good. Rejected by Donato. In transition, Casey streaking to the basket, draws contact. And we have a timeout on the court with Lakeland up by seven as we go to a break. The White's Crossing Sports Shop, Canaan Street in Carbondale, is the leading authority for the outdoors in northeastern Pennsylvania. Visit them for a complete line of archery accessories, hunting and fishing licenses, live bait, 
Fishing Tackle and LEM Meat Processing Supplies. Call 570-282-4699. And be sure to check out their Facebook page. Finding that unique seasonal outdoor item has never been easier with help from Tom and the staff at the White's Crossing Sports Shop. Well, folks, ice fishing season is here, and the White's Crossing Sports Shop is your number one source for ice fishing accessories in northeastern Pennsylvania. Stop in and see Tom for everything you'll need, including tackle, tip-ups, live bait, lures, hand warmers, and much more. They have it all at the White's Crossing Sports Shop. 2.55 remaining in this first half. Lakeland up by 7, 27 to 20. And the Chargers go back to work with Donato off the turnaround and rolls off the rim. Got to use the glass. Been saying it all year. You don't have any chance if you if it's off. The shot is off a little bit. You don't use the glass. It can't be even bouncing there. Rosencrantz sees an opening. Nowhere to go. He gives it up. Hunt will take control in the lane. Back outside they go. Here is Hazelton with a runner. It's too short. And Daryl Bennett has the rebound. Long down court pass. Rossler put on the brakes. Kicks it out to Herbert. And it will be Casey with a shot from in the lane that doesn't fall. Oh, and going for the basketball was Tyler Donato on a whistle. I got to give Lakeland a lot of credit. They are playing great defense. Donato has, he's, he's, an, he's, he's a non-entity in this game so far. Lakeland with a seven-point lead and the basketball. Trying to pound the ball inside to Rosencrantz, and it was tipped away by the Charger defense. And Nathan Hunt will inbound for Lakeland. Hunt looking, they get the long pass to Hazelton. And as we near two minutes left, Hazelton drives, lays it up, off the iron, no good. Rebound goes to Casey. Here comes Carbondale on the fast break. Near side, it's Herbert. Casey drives down the lane, the layup doesn't drop, and a foul. Well, Carbondale, Glenn, attacking the basket. They Talking with head coach Tom Morrow, and he said, you know, at times we just can't score. Yeah. But when they're hot, they could they could put points up on the board. But uh, you, you can't do anything. You can't do anything sitting on the bench in the first half with two silly fouls away from the ball. Now he went over the back on that one. That's you're, you're, if you're boxed out, you're boxed out. There's nothing you can do about that. Casey connects on the second free throw. It's 27-21 as Carbondale answers. Now some pressure by the Chargers. Lakeland will work it across midcourt. It's a coverage, dishes off. Hunt needs to kick it back outside. Pass intercepted by Casey. He read it well, right to the glass. Rosencrantz defending, and the tip-up is good inside. 27-23 as Carbondale area answers. And the Chiefs with just about one minute left here in the first half. Almost threw it away. Hazelton to Popovich. And Lakeland right here with the lead. Oh, yeah. Outside jump him. shot. You it's good. Play play Popovich. 30 to 23. He was left wide open. Under a minute remaining in the first half. Here in Carbondale at the Pete Taronis Gym in the Muskoski Egnatovich Court. KC, along with Rossler, running the Charger offense. DeBarry couldn't pull the trigger in the corner. DeBarry had it go off his fingertips, battle for the ball. Popovich was in the mix, and Carbondale will have the basketball on the inbound as Bennett will exit the contest. He's got two, that's a good move. And Herbert Get it taking out of the there. inbound pass. He's double teamed in a lot of trouble right there. He'll get the ball outside as Casey will fire up the shot. It's good from downtown. 
And the Chargers are within four, 30 to 26, final 15 seconds of the first half. Hazelton with the basketball, kicks it outside. Hunt takes control, five to shoot. They have to act quickly. Hazelton will launch a three. It is off the mark, and that will bring an end to the first half of play here in Carbondale in today's Lackawanna League Division III basketball matchup with Lakeland on top of Carbondale, 30 to 26, here on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Today, we customize everything. So why not customize your video choices with Echo Stream, the full-featured video service powered by Adams Broadband. Just install the Echo Stream app on your compatible streaming devices. Then watch with features like look back and restart, plus cloud DVR to record all of your favorite programs. Powered by fast, reliable Adams Broadband and smart Wi-Fi. Customize your video. Call or visit adamscable.com to sign up. You deserve expert heating, cooling, and plumbing service. So, just call Spall. T.E. Spall & Son has been serving Northeastern Pennsylvania with expert customer service for 38 years in all phases of residential and commercial heating, cooling, and plumbing. So, just call Spall for the expert service you deserve. Visit them at callspall.com. For service, remember, just call Spall. Welcome back to Carbondale and the Pete gym. Here at halftime, Lakeland is out to a 30 to 26 lead over the Chargers. At the end of the first quarter of play, Lakeland led 18 to 14. Both teams played on even terms in quarter number two, both scoring 12 points apiece to take us to halftime. Now, by the way, our next broadcast will be coming up here on Adams Cable on Monday, February, 12th when the Carbondale area Chargers will host the Crusaders of Holy Cross. And down there on the court, Glenn, here at halftime, all of the youngsters from, uh, I believe, the Carbondale sports programs out there. So this is really great. I think yeah. they're going to get a nice picture of all of those future athletes. So that's great to see. Well, Steve. We said the key for Carbondale to win this game this uh, uh, in the first half is to stop Lakeland from shooting from the outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven three-pointers. That's 21 out of the 30 points from beyond the arc. And, and, and you got to stop them. You just have to stop. You have to go and play them. Just be a, get your hand up. But, but they're but they're out and and they're not afraid to shoot from out there. Obviously they can. But, well, sure. Yeah. But so and you got Carbondale. He's got the biggest guy on the court. I don't know if he touched the ball five times on the, on the offensive side of the court. He's not looking for the ball. He's running with his hands down, and nobody's looking to throw him the ball. But I will give I will give uh, uh, Rosencrantz. And then, uh, well, yeah, Rosencrantz, I guess I would say, yeah. A good job. Uh, he's doing a great job of of, uh, of guarding him, playing him tough. Right. Yeah. So, hey, you got to move. You got to start moving. You, you got to be able to score if you want to win. Well, let's run down the first half stats of today's game as the well Chiefs lead it here at halftime, 30 to 26. Well, uh, let's look at Car uh, Carbondale. Donato's only two points are two foul shots. Not it doesn't have a field goal. Doesn't even have a, a, a real solid attempt for a field goal. All right. Preston Casey's got two threes and two twos and a foul shot for 11. Daryl Bennett's got two twos for four. R Rossler's got a three and a two for five. And DeBarry's got two twos for four. Uh, Turnovers and uh, nah, that's that's about even. Let's look at now. Let's look at uh, at Lakeland. Billy Hazlin, two twos and a three. Every person that scored from Lakeland has a three. 
every person that did score. Rosencrantz, a two and two threes. Vitsikovic, two threes. Nanowitz, one three. Popovich, a three and a two. So seven threes and uh, one, two, three, four twos, and you got 30 points the easy way. Because right. no, nobody's really playing it. And, and again, he, you understand that they can shoot, and they're not afraid to shoot, and good for them. They, they came in with a plan, and, and it's working so far. And I think their defensive plan is even working better because, as I said, the big score for Carbondale is not getting the ball. They're playing tough defense, but you got to want it. Right. The key is you got to want it. So let's hopefully they make an adjustment. Carbondale makes an adjustment in there. And if I was Lakeland, I'd keep, I'd do keep doing the same thing over and over. We are going to step aside and take a break and return with more action from Carbondale after this timeout. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team in NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS Route 6 Mayfield, online at NJS. NJSGO.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. Providing the ultimate in professional service is a tradition. At Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, Carbondale. For more than 50 years, families in Carbondale and its surrounding area have used our two Hospital Street and 74 North Main Street locations for a traditional service, cremation or memorial services, or a service of personal preference. Contact Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated to handle every detail. Back at Carbondale. For Lackawanna League Division III High School Basketball here at halftime where the Lakeland Chiefs lead the Carbondale area Chargers 30 to 26. We see the Chiefs and the Chargers back out on the court for the start of second half action. And Glenn, you talked about it. Uh, Lakeland can shoot the basketball yeah, yeah. numerous times in that first half. They were left wide open beyond the arc. They were. And, uh, and there, there's, well, it shows you. It shows you why. They're, they're not scoring a ton of points, but everybody's scoring anywhere from 8 to 12. So they, can, they, they, they get points from every, from every position. Now, Carbondale struggling to score, and, they, and they've got to get the ball inside. And, and uh, I hope uh, Tyler Donato's got to come out and got, start asking for the ball. Give me the ball. He's got to get out, and he's got to come across that lane. He's got to be wide. Right. He's, he's got to be wide. He's got to spread out. He's a big guy. Uh, but he's not playing. He's not playing the, the game today for the size that he is. He's he's getting ba getting banged around. He's got to box out. He's got to get the rebound. And uh, he, he's, if he doesn't score, it's, it's Carville's going to struggle to win the game. Well, he's matched up with David Nanowitz, and Nanowitz has a, done a great job yeah, with he, uh, Tyler Donato defensively he, yeah. in the first half yeah. of this ball game. They're they're doing a yeah, dude Nanowitz and. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Even once in a while, when they switch through Rosencrantz is on them. Well, you know, they're 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 doubling them. They're coming across. They're they're boxing them out. He's got he's got to start moving. If he, if he wants to he wants to uh, the Carbondale has to win this wants to win this game. They're going to have to get some uh, production out of him. Nope. But hey, listen, you got to give Lakeland credit. They are doing a good job. Well, we talked about uh, the remaining schedule for the Carbondale Area Chargers. Now, coming up uh, this Monday, Carbondale Area will host Old Forge. That's always a tough ball game. Yep, uh, Carbondale Area did defeat Old Forge 60 to 54 in league play, and that was on the road. So, if they have that and kind that of you, success, and you know how hard it is to play in Old Forge, absolutely. Then they will be matched up on the road at Trail, and then we will have the broadcast of the Holy Cross Crusaders and. The Carbondale area Chargers on February 12th, and then the Chargers will end their regular season on the road at Dunmore. 
Uh, Lakeland, boy, they have probably the most difficult schedule to end the regular season of anybody around uh, their remaining games. Holy Cross at Old Forge, Mid Valley at home, and then at Riverside. Wow, that's that's a that's a tough that tough is, four games. That's going to be a you tough. Know, and I'll tell you, when we talk about Holy Cross. They didn't miss a beat. No, they did not miss a beat when Al Senior retired and uh, Al Junior took over. Right. They they have a nice squad. They're all averaging almost in double on double figures. I'm I'm keeping an eye on their their scoring. They they're playing well. Now, they're undefeated in the league. I was I think. Right. They yeah. are. Now they've had some close calls. Sure. But they find but good teams find a way to win. Yes. That's what they yep. do. Yep. There's always a way. So with Lakeland leading by the score of 30 to 26, we thank our great sponsors for making Adams Cable High School basketball possible. Of course, to Adams Cable Service, the Comfort Doctors T.E. Spall and Son. Today's game also brought to you by NJS Systems and Controls, Route 6 Mayfield, Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, by Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center, McGovern Insurance Agency, comprehensive coverage with a personal touch, and of course, brought to you tonight by the White's Crossing Sports Shop. Happy birthday wishes to Jane Orlando of Mayfield celebrating her birthday today, Glenn. Well, happy birthday to Jane. My Aunt Jane. <laughs> and uh, for all of you in Mayfield and German and Carbondale, when you see Jane Orlando tomorrow or over the weekend, wish her a happy belated birthday. Now Lakeland, yeah, he, uh, Rosencrantz stepped before he made the pass. He stepped back over the three, the half court line. As Lakeland turns it over, and Carbondale area with the basketball now and an opportunity to narrow the deficit. As Rossler works it into Bennett in traffic with the left hand and he scores. Rossler on the assist. Bennett, who had four points in the first half, takes Carbondale within two, 30 to 28. Lakeland now goes to work with Rosencrantz working it out to Nanowitz. Nanowitz defended there by Donato. And on a drive, there's a great shot by Billy Hazelton as he connects inside for the deuce. Well, they broke Hazelton yeah. wide open under the basket. They brought Donato out beyond the arc, and it paid dividends. Open look from the outside is good for Jeff Rossler, and it's a three. Carbondale within one, 32 31. Rosenkrantz. Now Vitsikovic. Nanowitz will hand it off to Vitsikovic. And driving Hazelton, they kick it back outside. Now they'll go cross court. And there is Hazelton working it in the corner. An open look from the corner doesn't drop right there. And Lakeland. Misses a great opportunity, and the Chargers now with Casey from downtown, and Carbondale has the lead. Nearing six minutes remaining here in third quarter action. Nathan Hunt defended there by Bennett, and a ball taken away by DeBerry. Some great defense by Malachi DeBerry. And Bennett will line up an outside jumper that is too strong. And a battle for the ball. And who will have who? it? Out of oh. the ball. Well, Lakeland that's, a, that's a tough call to make. Right. Both guys have it. Both right. guys go up with it. The ball leaves their hand. When you make that call, the referee, you got to sell it. Yes. <laughs> you have to sell that one. 34-32. <laughs> Carbondale, your leader. The ball was knocked away, and Nathan Hunt will put the ball in play now for the Chiefs. Defended by DeBerry on the inbound. I'll tell you, Coach Morrow must have said something to him. Carmelo came out fired up here. Hunt drives off the glass. Got it. He ties the game at 34. Carbondale and Lakeland battling here in a Lackawanna League Division Three matchup. As DeBerry beyond the arc. Casey 
to set it up. Far side, Rossler open. Here it comes. It rims out. Ball is up for grabs. Lakeland has it. Boy, Billy Hazelton comes out of the pack with it. Down court pass. Oh, great job defensively there by Casey to knock it away. And now Popovich in a lot of traffic. That's and good timeout. Good timeout there yeah. by Lakeland with 5-0-1 yeah. remaining here in third quarter action. We're tied at 34 as we go to a break. When it comes to keeping your vehicle maintained and problem free, Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale has you covered. Call Jerry's for brake service, oil changes, state inspections, quality tires, wheel alignment, and rotation to enhance your vehicle's performance. I'm Jerry Jablonowski. Call 282 Tire for dependable automotive service in name brand tires at Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. When you need collision repair, rely on Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center to restore your vehicle to its original condition. Beston's is a full-service, state-of-the-art collision repair center where customer satisfaction is the number one priority. Their motto at Beston's, every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. Beston's Collision Center in Carbondale, the trusted name in collision repair in northeastern Pennsylvania. Just over five to play here in the third, and Carbondale and Lakeland deadlocked at 34. And Lakeland, when play resumes, will inbound the basketball. Nathan Hunt on the entry pass, looking, looking, and the long pass will go to Nanowitz. Now Nanowitz will pivot and give it up as Vitsikovic, defended by Rossler. Vitsikovic drives, gives it up. Nanowitz and Carbondale, pretty good defense as they force Lakeland way out beyond the arc. Hazelton with the left hand down the lane through traffic, didn't get it. Rebound goes to Casey. Long down court pass, Rossler off the glass, too short. Battle for the ball, Nanowitz has it. Here he goes, right to the basket. Off the glass, too strong. He gets his own rebound and a foul. And D. Barry caught reaching in. His first, team's fourth. And that will place David Nanowitz on the stripe for Lakeland. Six foot three sophomore, averages around nine points a ball game. And from the charity stripe, shooting at 71% as he connects. And he gives Lakeland a one point lead. David Nanowitz. With the second free throw toss on the way, and the right hand flip is good. Got the bounce. Lakeland by two as Carbondale will inbound the basketball. Bennett. Will float it near side to Rossler from the corner. It's Casey, couldn't get it to drop. As it rims out. Boy, that was three quarters of the way down too. Wow. That would have been a big shot for the Chargers and now they will be forced to inbound the basketball as DeBarry will take the inbound pass. He wants to drive, kicks it out. Bennett, through traffic, looks near side. Rossler is open, here it comes, too short. Hazelton has the basketball and a whistle. Ryan McGrain wearing number two, six foot freshman guard in the lineup for Lakeland. As Rosencrantz defended by Casey. Rosencrantz to the glass. Through traffic, all oh, oh, it was wow. Hazelton going up with the shot, and he got whacked on the play. Wow! 
Well, that is a cause for concern if you're Tom it Morrow. It, it is. Now, Glenn, what do you do as Donato picked up his third as Hazelton converts on the free throw? How long well, do you leave Donato in the game? Well, he's got to start playing sometime or else put him there. Second shot is good by Hazelton as Carbondale has a 38-34 lead. Nope. Lakeland. <laughs> Lakeland. Or Lakeland, I should say. <laughs> yeah. As DeBarry now will set things up and direct some traffic for Carbondale area. As Rossler and Bennett, they get to Donato, and finally they pound the ball inside, and he was wide open for two. 38-36, the Chiefs right down the lane through traffic as they went to right by Donato. They'll kick it outside. It's Rosencrantz, Vitsikovic traveling. Thought about the outside jumper beyond the arc. Should have taken it. Couldn't pull the trigger and turned it over. Oh, Marshall Popovich uh, has a flat tire there. Glenn. He has to lace up the sneaker. There he goes. He's ready to roll. <laughs> Those things are too hot for his feet. 38-36. <laughs> Close one between the Chiefs and the Chargers. DeBarry is open, and he will let it fly, and it's off the mark. One and done for the Chargers. And now... Chargers trap, but they get the ball to Popovich, and he will work it outside, and Lakeland will reset it. Here's an open look from the outside that is off the mark by Nathan Hunt. Long down court pass Casey. He's going to have to bring it back outside and slow things down. Casey be from downtown. No, Donato off balance and the foul. Good rebound by Tyler Donato. And his momentum was taking him out of bounds. And he will go to the free throw line. Yeah, that was tough. He, he was really, he hustled on that one, really went to, to, the, uh, to get the rebound, but he got pushed. There was no way. Lucky even got the shot off. Now, well, very good free throw shooter, up over 70% this year with the Chargers down by a pair. Oh, short on the free throw attempt. Mm -hmm. He put the whammy on him. Billy Hazelton. Tyler will have another free throw toss on the way. We'll see if he could narrow the Charger deficit. And he rattles it in. Carbondale is now down by one. Here come the Chiefs. Manowitz gives it up. And Rosencrantz drives and tries to force it up. Had the ball taken away by Casey. DeBarry and Casey now with the basketball as we near the two-minute mark remaining third quarter. Rossler surveys the Lakeland defense. Get the ball inside to Good Donato, and he used the glass. And Carbondale has a one-point lead. Great job by Carbondale to work the ball inside. And now Lakeland will run its half-court offense as they get the ball to Rosencrantz for two and a banker. And Lakeland has regained the lead 40 to 39. Now well, this has been a great matchup between the Chargers and the Chiefs. Yep. And Rossler to oh. Donato posting up. Defended by Manowitz. Oh, don't throw it down there. And they turn it off. You had a 6-4 guy, and you're throwing the ball at his knees. From the corner, baseline shot now. Too short by Rosencrantz, and Donato collected the carom. And Lakeland intercepts the pass. Vitsikovic takes it away. We get it on the far side as Hazelton couldn't pull the trigger. Good defense by Bennett to push Hazelton outside. And with under one minute remaining in third quarter action, Rosencrantz matched up with DeBarry. Vitsikovic will take control. And it's Vitsikovic 
Casey all over him. Well, Lakeland, see if they're going to spread things out a little bit here, Glenn. That's what they're trying to do. As Rosencrantz with 21 seconds on the clock. Hazelton defended by Bennett. Uh, you oh. know, again. Wow. The silliest fouls Carbonell commit. 50 feet from the basket, oh, reaching in. There's nobody but the referee watching you. Yeah, that's a tough one. And with 14.7 seconds to play here in the third, Lakeland up by one. Able to inbound the basketball. Rosencrantz has it. And pass intercepted by Bennett. Bennett wants to go to the glass. Spin move. Dishes off. Donato didn't get it. Menowitz has it. They have to know how much time is on the clock, and that will do it. That will bring an end to the third quarter play here in Carbondale in today's Lackawanna League Division III basketball matchup with Lakeland up by one, 40 to 39, here on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. The White's Crossing Sports Shop, Canaan Street in Carbondale, is the leading authority for the outdoors in northeastern Pennsylvania. Visit them for a complete line of archery accessories, hunting and fishing licenses, live bait, fishing tackle, and LEM meat processing supplies. Call 570-282-4699 and be sure to check out their F Facebook page. Finding that unique seasonal outdoor item has never been easier with help from Tom and the staff at the White's Crossing Sports Shop. Ice fishing season is here, and the White's Crossing Sports Shop has everything you need to make it a great one. They have ice fishing gear, jigs, ice augers, you name it, they have it. Live bait, tip-ups, tackle, lures, hand warmers. Stop in, check it out at the White's Crossing Sports Shop. Open from the corner to open up the fourth quarter is Jake Rossler, and the Chargers lead 42 to 40. Quickly, Lakeland with Billy Hazelton banking it off the glass for a field goal as he ties the game at 42. Who's going to make the least amount of mistakes is going to win this game, Steve? Well, this has been a good one as Bennett can't finish. Had a good shot coming down the lane, but it rimmed out. And now as we're tied at 42, Lakeland and Carbondale, the Chiefs will set it up with Manowitz handing it off to Rosencrantz. Rosencrantz off the glass for a field goal, and the Chiefs have regained the lead, 44-42. Boy, you talk about a seesaw battle, Glenn, yep. we've had it. This is a great win. This is going to go right down to the wire. Casey was looking for Tyler Donato. Donato never yeah. saw the pass coming. He's not looking. And a timeout is called Carbondale by timeout. Carbondale area. With 7.02 remaining as we go to a break. You deserve expert heating, cooling, and plumbing service. So, just call Spall. T.E. Spall & Son has been serving Northeastern Pennsylvania with expert customer service for 38 years in all phases of residential and commercial heating, cooling, and plumbing. So, just call Spall for the expert service you deserve. Visit them at callspall.com. For service, remember, just call Spall. Welcome back to Carbondale, folks. There's a bingo benefit for the Carbondale Christmas Lighting Fund and the Christmas Light Committee going on Sunday, March 10th at the Hotel Anthracite in downtown Carbondale. Doors open at 12 p.m. Bingo begins at 1 p.m. And tickets are available at the Carbondale Library, Adams Cable Service, Carbondale YMCA, Carbondale City Hall. So make it a point to check it out. It all benefits the Carbondale Christmas Light Committee. Lakeland with the basketball and a two-point lead here at the Pete Taronis Gym in the Muskoski Agnatovich Court. Great to have you with us here on Adams Cable. 
As Hunt will drive around DeBerry, forced it up. Carb uh, Lakeland gets the rebound and the putback. And a technical foul is going to be called. Uh, now, Hazleton scored that pass. Right. right? Now. It's 46 42. Don't know what the technical was, but I... immediately Trevor Tellup wasn't happy with the call. I, I don't I don't know. As Preston Casey scores from the free throw line on the technical shot. Second one is perfect. It's 46 44 and Carbondale will put the ball in play. I don't know what happened there. Maybe uh, did Hazelton say something uh, to somebody after he made that shot. Boy, it wasn't. It didn't take the referee long enough, too long to make that call. Outside open look by Casey. No, there's a battle for the ball. Hazelton was trying to sit. Hustle. I'll tell Hazelton this hustler. Yeah, you talk about giving 100% all the time. Now Billy Hazelton and Lakeland, boy, they've been hustling in this ball game from the opening tip. Carbondale hot on their heels as DeBerry with the inbound pass. And DeBerry down the lane, almost lost control. Bennett is open and got it from downtown. Carbondale has the lead. And we have exactly six minutes remaining here in fourth quarter action. Oh, and driving to the basket was Vitsikovic and a foul committed, I believe, yeah. by Rossler. Yep, he reached around. Nathan Hunt will inbound. Hunt gets the ball into Rosencrantz and he banks it off the glass and a foul underneath the hoop. Well, Casey commits his second personal foul. And on the free throw line is Chase Rosencrantz for Lakeland. As a team, Lakeland shoots at 64% from the strike. As does Carbondale area. And we're tied at 47. Rosenprince, six foot one freshman, got the roll on the second shot. Lakeland by one. He doesn't play like a freshman. He plays, he just, he's got a nice game. Well, we saw him on the football field this year, Glenn, and he has a bright future as an athlete. Now the Chargers. Back on the offensive attack. From the corner, it's Casey with an outside jumper. And a foul. Well, the officials now are going to get together and talk this over. That's that's Oh and with 535 remaining Donato is forced to exit the ball game with his fourth personal foul. Wow. Tough. Now if you're Lakeland let's see if they are going to take advantage of Donato on the bench. Their game is not an inside game, so yeah, they can move around and drive to the basket. There's no one in there to defend. Manowitz with the basketball. He'll kick it back outside, and Lakeland will be patient offensively and reset the offense. Hunt looking for Nanowitz, posting up. He's defended there by Herbert. Billy yeah, Hazelton kicks it outside. It's Hunt lining up a shot, and it doesn't fall. Carbondale has the rebound. It's DeBerry with the basketball now, along with Bennett. Bennett down the lane, puts on the brakes. They turned it over. Well, you got a turnover on uh, Rossler for ste stepping on the line, but uh, the pa it, wasn't, it wasn't his fault. That pass wasn't a very good one. 48-47, Lakeland your leader with under five to play here in the fourth. 
Chase Rosenkrantz will survey the Charger defense. Hazelton looks inside. Nothing there. Good defense by Carbondale. They get the ball inside to Hunt, and he banks it up. Rosenkrantz tips it up, and a whistle. Well, Lakeland really hitting the boards well here in the fourth quarter. Casey with his third personal. And Rosenkrantz back to the free throw line, Glenn. Uh, I, I, Car Carbondale uh, is, is really getting out hustled on, on Lakeland side of the court here. They're, they're really they're taking it to Carbondale. They're going strong. They're rebounding. They're attacking the basket. Of course, there's, you know, have the big guy in there to, to, to stop anything. Rosenkrantz misfires on the second shot. Herbert trying to save it, going out of bounds and touched at last. So an opportunity for the Chiefs as Nathan Hunt will, well, they'll make the switch now. It will be Vitsakovich along the baseline to put the ball in play. And the Chiefs with Vitsakovich letting it fly and it doesn't fall. Rosenkrantz with the rebound and the put back. And the foul. Wow. Well, he's got he got three fouls in the la in the last two minutes. So Casey has four personal fouls. Donato with four. He's on the bench. Rosenkrantz back on the stripe for the Chiefs and couldn't convert on the free throw. Checking back in for Lakeland, number one, Marshall Popovich. Chase Rosenkrantz averaging about 11 points a ball game for Lakeland connects on the shot. Now Kyle Jones is in the lineup for the Chargers. And with Lakeland down by three they will go to work with just about four minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Bennett in the lane, forces it up with the right hand, didn't get it to fall. And Carbondale will have the possession. And Carbondale is going to put the ball in play. And we have a timeout call by the Chiefs. So we will keep it right here with 4.03 remaining, Glenn. Well, you talked about it. Whoever makes the least amount of mistakes here in the second half is going to win the game. And now, Lakeland with you, a three point lead right you, now. If you look at Carbondale's fouls in this quarter, well, there's. There you have their five, so there's, 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 there's two shot fouls. Uh, but four of them happened in the last minute and a half, two minutes of, of run of the, the clock time. Now, Glenn, if your head coach, Tom Morrow, Donato is on the bench with four personal fouls, 4.03 left. So is Casey. At what, and Casey, at what point do you bring them right back now. into the game? Right now? Right now. I would. I would. Well, Donato is. You only still have on four minutes left. You don't want to get behind too far. This is a big possession for the Chargers. Yeah. They need a basket right here as they trail by three. Bennett, long inbound to Rossler, and here come the Chargers. Bennett off a screen, almost lost the basketball. Yep. Foul called on the Chiefs. Nathan Hunt. Guilty of her, his third personal foul. And Rossler out beyond the arc. Lakeland with some good defense. And it is a pass near side to Herbert. He's open and it's an air ball. Lakeland has it. Danowitz will flip it to Nathan Hunt. And Lakeland now with a three point lead and the basketball. We'll see how they play it. Popovich 
The left hand dribble almost had it taken away. Inside they go to Hunt off the glass for two and it's 52 47. Well executed play by the Chiefs and a timeout is called by Carbondale area with 306 remaining. We are going to step aside and go to a break and come right back with more action after this timeout. Providing the ultimate in professional service is a tradition at Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, Carbondale. For more than 50 years, families in Carbondale and its surrounding area have used our two Hospital Street and 74 North Main Street locations for a traditional service, cremation or memorial services, or a service of personal preference. Contact Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated to handle every detail. When it comes to keeping your vehicle maintained and problem free, Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale has you covered. Call Jerry's for brake service, oil changes, state inspections, quality tires, wheel alignment and rotation to enhance your vehicle's performance. I'm Jerry Jablonowski. Call 282 Tire for dependable automotive service in name brand tires at Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. Welcome back to Carbondale. Alongside Glenn Muskowski, Steve Young, great to have you with us. Lakeland has outscored Carbondale here in the fourth, 12 to eight. And the Chiefs lead 52-47 as Donato is back in the ball game See, for Carbondale. These guards from Carbondale can continue to throw. Rossler with a hot hand from downtown. And it's a three, 52 to 50. Boy, Jake Rossler from outside is dangerous. Now Lakeland with the two point lead. Nanowitz thought about pulling the trigger, couldn't do it. Nathan Hunt beyond the arc. Two and a half left. Donato battling for the ball, Lakeland possession. Good job by Donato to knock it away. This might come down to who has the basketball last. Could, could very well be. Ooh, get Long that pass Ooh. to Rosencrantz. DeBerry had a shot at intercepting it. And it's Vitsikovic shuffling it inside. And the shot is good on a banker by Nathan Hunt. And the Lakeland lead is four. What a ball game we have here in Carbondale as we have just about two minutes left. And Glenn, it's not over oh, by any stretch of the imagination, but that turnover by Carbondale really hurt. The guards are throwing the ball to... to, to oh, yeah, good There's steal. a steal by Casey and a double dribble. How could that be a double dribble? Wow. He stole the ball, he knocked it to the floor. Well, Tom Morrow having I don't, a word I don't, with the official. I don't agree with that call. I don't agree with that call at all. The ball was stolen by slapping it to the floor. So he picks it up with two hands and he dribbles. What's wrong with that? He wasn't dribbling that ball when he stole it. Hunt will dish off and it is Rosencrantz along with Vitsikovic. And you've got a four That's point it. lead. He's out. That's five. That's Reaching five in. on Casey as he reached in and he will take a seat on the bench as his night is over. And that's a tough he, guy to lose in a game like this. And he will be replaced that's, in the Charger lineup by Shane Herbert. That's four fouls in this quarter. Wow. Billy Hazelton will go to the free throw line for Lakeland. And Hazelton connects. And it's 55 to 50. Hazelton is. One of the guys you want on the free throw line is he is just over 70% from the strike. And he rattles in, no, the second shot rolls out. Lakeland by five and Carbondale now with a minute and a half left. They can't left. fool around, they gotta go to the basket. As Darrell Bennett thought about the outside jumper, puts it up on the run. Oh, he's right left-handed. That was a great right-handed shot. 55-52 as the Chargers answer. Now Lakeland needs to get the ball across midcourt. And they will get it to Hazelton. You've got the lead here, Glenn, with a minute 13. How do you play it? You got good foul shooters. I'd keep it out. Hazelton sees an opening, goes up with a left hand and scores. It's 57-52 Lakeland with one minute left.
Rosler beyond the arc. They get the ball to Donato in the paint. Donato off balance. Basket is good and the foul. And we have a timeout on the court. We'll keep it right here. Oof. Wow. Have to love these games. Yeah, these are good ones. These it's, are good ones. You know, right from the opening tip, you had that feeling it was going to be this yeah, kind of a matchup. They're two evenly matched teams. I would say Lakeland has better shooters. Uh, Carbondale has two guys that could put the points on the board, but not didn't do it that well today. Today, But, uh, you know, if you want to call, uh, make a call, Spall, now even though with there's th th three seconds left to go, yeah, maybe we better hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. we'll wait till uh, there's yeah. about 30 seconds yeah. left in the game. We might have a better idea which way this is going to go. I think you have. Let me see. You have many options there, Glenn. Okay. We'll, we'll wait and see. I, I, I may be I, I might be calling this something different, Steve. I might be calling it something different. Yeah, let's see how it plays out with 46 seconds remaining. Now this free throw by. Tyler Donato on the free throw line is going to be bit as you're down 57 54. Yep. Carbondale area looking to pull out a win here at home and Lakeland. Looking to come away with a road victory. Donato off the back iron, too strong. Vitsikovic has the rebound. He hit the deck. Traveling. Wow. With 42 points. Now you don't, you don't need a three. You don't need a three. And you've got the guy who could shoot one right there in Rossler along with Bennett. Clock the big factor, 32 seconds to play. Bennett dishes off. Herbert open. Here it comes. Got it. We're tied at 57. 21 seconds left. Here comes Lakeland. Hazelton and Lakeland will call a timeout. Woo! Well, I think uh, that was a good call now. <laughs> We're going to hang on for the call spall <laughs> play of the game because I think I know what it might be. But we still have 17 seconds yeah. remaining, so things could change. <laughs> well, Glenn, Lakeland will have the basketball. How do you play this if your head coach, well, Trevor Teller? I look to get the ball into it into uh, the hands of Hazelton or Rosencrantz, and uh, Carbondale's going to have to foul. And the sooner you foul, the better, right? Uh, uh, well, they don't have to foul because the game is tied, but, but they can't. But they can't get over. They can't overplay and get beat right on, on off the dribble. You know? So you got to watch. We talk about a game that was nip and tuck right from the opening tip off. You've, we've had it here tonight. Lakeland Carbondale deadlocked at 57. And it will be Nathan Hunt to inbound the basketball for the Chiefs. Well, nobody get beat to the basket. Long inbound pass goes to Hazelton off the turnaround, traveling. Travel. Woo! 15 seconds left. Play one. Play one. You can't lose, right? You can go into OT. Don't give, don't give Clayton a chance to shoot it. Well, here we go. Final 10 seconds of the fourth quarter, tied at 57. It's Daryl Bennett, five to shoot. Outside they go. 
near side. Rossler will let it fly. No cross court to Herbert. That will do it. Oh, no call. No foul on the play, and we are going to overtime. overtime. Carbondale area and Lakeland in today's Lackawanna League Division Three basketball matchup. Woo! What a game. Now, the, without Casey in the game because he fouled out, it's, it's going to be a big area to fill. Absolutely. There'll be a four-minute overtime period when we return here on Adams Cable High School Basketball. You deserve expert heating, cooling, and plumbing service. So, just call Spall. T.E. Spall & Son has been serving Northeastern Pennsylvania with expert customer service for 38 years in all phases of residential and commercial heating, cooling, and plumbing. So, just call Spall for the expert service you deserve. Visit them at callspall.com. For service, remember, just call Spall. Welcome back to Carbondale in the Pete Taronis Gym and the Muskoski Egnatovich Court. Carbondale area and Lakeland we battling here in this Lackawanna League Division III basketball matchup. Tied at 57, David Nanowitz along with Tyler Donato to do it all over again. This is a great one. Yes, it is. And Carbondale will control the tip. Now, if you're going to throw the ball into Donato, throw it up high. Bennett. In the lane, left hand, got it! Carbondale draws first blood in the overtime and they lead by a pair. Lakeland now will set things up as Vitsikovic will work the basketball with a left hand dribble. Oh, Vitsikovic tried to put on the brakes and turned it over. Now, you, 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 Donato's got to stay in this game now. He can't make any silly fouls. He's got to stay on his feet on defense, get his hand up. Here come the Chargers as they will face some pressure as Herbert along the far sideline. Donato near side. Here comes Rossler with an open look. Oh, go get strong. it. Go get it. Jake, got to go get that. Follow that shot. Rosencrantz collected the carom, and now he will survey the Charger defense. Rosencrantz matched up there with DeBarry. Near side, Hazelton kicks it out. On a drive, right hand, got it for Nathan Hunt, and we are tied at 59. It's Daryl Bennett to work the Charger offense. 2.45 here in overtime. And it gets it back. He'll let it fly. Here it comes. It's a good from downtown. Carbondale leads by three. Danowitz beyond the arc. Rosencrantz now to set it up. Rosencrantz drives, banks it up. Offensive foul. Follow on Rosencrantz, and with 2.21 remaining in overtime, Shane Herbert with the entry pass. It's good. Oh. Oh, no, and they throw it away, and Billy Hazelton couldn't finish under the glass. They'll bring it back out beyond the arc. Nanowitz open. Can't convert from downtown. Ball goes out of bounds, and Carbondale will have the possession. Well, Glenn, this has been a real classic between Lakeland and Carbondale. And with 2.06 left in overtime, Shane Herbert to put it in play. Here's Rossler across midcourt, and oh, they, oh, they throw it away looking ouch. for Shane Herbert. Pass was too hot. No reason. No hot. reason to throw it. There was nobody on him. And with 2-0-1 remaining, Vitsikovic cross midcourt. 
Hunt, defended by Herbert, will work it outside. Now Lakeland. Vitsikovic gave it up, and foul is called on Herbert as Hunt had the basketball moving toward the basket. That will stop the clock with 141 remaining here in the overtime with Carbondale up 62-59 and Nathan Hunt on the strike. And the lead is two for Carbondale. Nathan Hunt at 67%. Coming into this ball game from the free throw line. This is number two, but Lakeland gets the ball back as Billy Hazelton comes up with it. Manowitz outside. Hunt lets it fly. No, it doesn't fall. Battle for the ball. And a foul. Yeah. Shane Herbert. Guilty of the personal foul, and Vitsikovic on the strike for Lakeland as they are down by two. And oh boy, he yeah. rattled in and out, kissed the glass, and dropped in. Good spin, good follow through. Those things fall. They go up there nice and soft. Talon Vitsikovic can tie the game with a free throw right here. Off the back iron, T. Barry has it. Bennett will bring it across midcourt for the Chargers. Up by one. Bennett defended there by Hazelton. And as we if near the them. one minute mark remaining. Reverse the basketball. Get it over here. Well, DeBarry now out near center court. We'll work it to Bennett. Inside they go to Herbert. And he draws the foul in the lane. Well, Nathan Hunt picks up number four. And Shane Herbert is on the free throw line for Carbondale area with a minute three remaining. And the shot is a little bit too heavy. Shane Herbert, six foot senior forward for the Chargers. As they are clinging now to a one point advantage. Second shot off the back iron. Nanowitz has the rebound. Balls up for grabs. Bennett has it. And with under a minute remaining, Carbondale up by one. Bennett, the dish off to Donato. And a foul. As Hazelton picks up the personal foul. And with Carbondale up by one, it's Daryl Bennett on the free throw line. Oh, Glenn, no one has left the gym as the free throw is too heavy. <laughs> we, can't, we can't get anything better than this. <laughs> Daryl Bennett, the 5'10 senior point guard, with the second free throw. And the southpaw connects. 63-61. No, now, if you're Carbondale, you don't want to give anybody any threes here. Well, Nathan Hunt will run the Lakeland offense. 43 seconds on the clock, and a timeout, timeout. is called by Lakeland. And we will keep it right here. And thank all of our great sponsors for making tonight's broadcast possible. Big thanks to, of course, to Adams Cable Service, to the Comfort Doctors, T.E. Spall & Son, Heating, Cooling & Plumbing, by NJS, Systems & Controls, Route 6 Mayfield, for experience, dependability, and 24-hour service. Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services, Incorporated, with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street by Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, your source for quality tires. Also brought to you tonight by Bestin's Auto Body and Collision Center, 
quality repairs, and superior service. Find McGovern Insurance Agency. Comprehensive coverage with a personal touch. And brought to you tonight by the Rolls, uh, White's Crossing Sports Shop and your starting lineups presented tonight by your friends at the Rosell Department Store. Well, Carbondale leads by a field goal, 63-61 with 42 seconds to play. Does this have double OT on it? <laughs> well, it's been quite a while, Glenn, since we've had a double overtime game. You know, Lakeland is uh, coming off of an overtime game. But they lost to Dunmore by 9, 69 to 60. So they will inbound the basketball. Long pass to Rosencrantz, and here we go. No reach. Rosencrantz matched no. up with DeBerry. Hunt. Outside, Manowitz open. Yes! Lakeland with David Manowitz and the three ball. 64-63, the Chiefs with 23 seconds left. Darrell Bennett down the lane, behind the back pass. Donato scores, and Carbondale has the lead by one. 65-64, and a wild finish here at the Pete Tarona's gym, and another break in the action. We'll keep it right here with 9.9 .9 seconds remaining. Now, what do you draw up right here, Glenn, if you're head coach Trevor Tellum? Uh, I, tell, I tell my kids, to get when you get the ball, just take it to the basket. 65-64. Carbondale, your leader. Woo! Doesn't get any better than this, Glenn. This is what high school basketball is all about. Wow. What a pass by Bennett, huh? Yeah, that was, that was pretty. And the fit and Donato used the glass. Well, yes, basket. he did. Yes, he did. Well, it's, it was a close game, folks, right from the get-go. At the end of one quarter, Lakeland led 18-14. Both teams played on even terms in quarter number two. They both scored 12 apiece. Lakeland had a 30-26 advantage at halftime. Chiefs led by 140-39 after three. We were tied at 57 at the end of regulation. Carbondale by one now with 9.9 .9 remaining in overtime. Now, Carbondale, if you're Carbondale, you can't be jumping and jumping and let anybody go by you, right? Uh, you can't run down, run people down if they're starting to set a pick. Watch, watch this, watch this reverse. Watch this reverse here. Billy Hazelton on the inbound. Pass goes to Hunt, he almost lost it. Hunt wants to go right to the glass through traffic. No, he didn't get it. Battle for the ball. The shot back up by Hazelton. No. That's it. It's all over. Carbondale wins it. 65. Woohoo! What a game. What a finish. Wow, we have a little. Uh, yeah, had some temper. A uh, little bit of a ruckus here, but well, fortunately, uh, Joe uh, Farrell was right there Joe along with yeah. uh, Larry Gabriel, Athletic yeah. Director Larry Gabriel the third, as Carbondale wins it, yeah. 65 to 64. And I, uh, <laughs> the the one one of the many spall call spalls of the game was the. Behind the back pass from Bennett to Donato for the go-ahead basket. Yeah, Bennett coming down, driving, dishing off behind the back to Tyler Donato. He finishes under the glass for the call, spall, play of the game. And that was what did it here tonight as Carbondale wins it 65-64 to over Lakeland in a seesaw battle. Carbondale improves its overall mark to 12 wins and six losses in Division Three. They're four and five. Lakeland falls to seven and eleven and two and six in league play. Whew. 
Well, well, for Carbondale area now, Gwen, they will be at home against Old Forge coming up on the road at Trail. They will take on Holy Cross here at home on February 12th in a game we will have here on Adams Cable and finish on the road at Dunmore. For Lakeland, they have Holy Cross at home at Old Forge, Mid Valley at home, and then at Riverside. So a great finish here tonight, and we are going to uh, wrap it up <laughs> as we... <laughs> I had eight different calls, Paul, plays of the eight, game. You had eight different calls, Paul, plays of the game that <laughs> at, they were all at good. Eight different times. Eight different times throughout the game, but the that one was, was right here in overtime. I'll tell you, Bennett played a great overtime. I mean, he he uh, he made a steal, he, a big steal, and scored. He uh, he made that pass. He hit a couple foul shots. It's a great game. And that great is going game. to wrap it up here in Carbondale. And it's all been brought to you tonight by Adams Cable Service, by the Comfort Doctors, T.E. Small and Son, Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, by NJS, Systems and Controls, Route 6, Mayfield, Lawrence A. Gabriel, Funeral Home and Cremation Services, Incorporated, with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center, by McGovern Insurance Agency, the White's Crossing Sports Shop, and your starting lineups brought to you tonight by the Roselle Department Store. Your final score here tonight in Carbondale in overtime, Carbondale Area 65 and Lakeland 64. For Glenn Muskowski, Chris Manfelt, and Claire Seymour, I'm Steve Young. Till next time, so long from Carbondale.